Artificial intelligence is all around us. It's in the cell phones we use, emails we send, and websites we browse. It's being widely implemented in a variety of fields, including marketing, medicine, and finance. In this video, we will dive into the history of artificial intelligence and medicine, explore current themes and projects, and survey future directions. Hi, I'm Ashwin Kadambi, and this is Public Health in Real Life. Artificial intelligence or AI is the ability of machines to communicate, reason and operate independently just like humans both in familiar as well as normal situations. This is enabled by providing machines with a specific set of instructions called algorithms. The concept of AI was first developed in 1950 by Alan Turing in his seminal paper Can Machines Think? Six years later, John McCarthy coins the term artificial intelligence and organizes the first ever AI conference, marking the beginning of this exciting field. Although they speak about advanced topics in AI such as neural networks, natural language processing and creativity in that conference, neither the computer's speed nor its capacity back then supported the experimentation or implementation of their ideas. It was really not until the early 2000s that we see the re-emergence of interest in AI with advancements in technology as well as machine capabilities. Around this time, we see improvements in computing power resulting in faster health data collection and processing growth of genomic sequencing databases, improvements and widespread implementation in electronic health record systems, as well as advancement in imaging of cells and tissues. These advancements enabled the collection and generation of tons and tons of data, which is exactly what fuels artificial intelligence development, as well as its implementation in medicine. Further, we see an increase in the application of machine learning, which is a sub-discipline within AI. Machine learning is a way of continuously refining an instruction given to the machine. The refining process involves the use of large amounts of data and it is done automatically, allowing the instruction to change with the aim of improving the precision of the artificial intelligence. These technologies promise great benefits in tracking of outbreaks of infectious diseases, behavioral science, precision medicine, and the modeling and treatment of rare and chronic diseases. And deep learning is a subset of machine learning. To understand deep learning, think of it this way. Whenever your brain receives new information, it tries to compare it with already known information to try to make sense out of it. The brain breaks down the new information by labeling and assigning the items to various categories. Deep learning employs the same concept. It incorporates computational models and algorithms that imitate the architecture of the biological nervous system with artificial neural networks. Convolutional neural networks are a specific form of deep learning architecture that have proven effective for the classification of medical imaging data. In addition, natural language processing, which is another subfield of artificial intelligence, is devoted to the understanding and generation of language. The recent advances in this technology is enabling rapid analysis of vast amounts of text, thereby creating opportunities for health research and evidence-informed decision-making. Likewise, in the past decade, the world saw progress of AI in daily life with the advent of face recognition devices, Alexa and Siri. However, 2013 was a game changer when researchers recognized that technologies designed for video games could be applied to advance AI. This promised great benefits to the practice of medicine and health of populations. Medical researchers have found 
that these advanced AI systems has shown robust performance in detecting tuberculosis from chest x-rays, malignant melanomas from skin photographs, lymph node metastasis from tissue sections, predicting cardiovascular risk with improved accuracy, uh, predicting progression of Alzheimer's disease from uh, amyloid imaging data, and in ophthalmology, detecting and identifying diabetic retinopathy, glaucoma, macular degeneration, and macular edema using optical images. The National Health Service in UK has harnessed advanced AI technologies to study its national COVID-19 chest imaging database containing X-ray, MRI scans, uh, CT scan images from a wide variety of patients across the country to enhance better tracking and understanding of disease progression and conduct subpopulation studies. Likewise, the World Health Organization has its first virtual health worker, Florence. Florence is a digital person designed to help smokers quit smoking. Florence serves as a trusted source of information for smokers to design a plan to quit smoking as well as learn about the resources that are available to them. Innovations such as Digital Person offers a great promise in the health promotion arena, especially within mental health, where people can privately discuss their concerns and access trusted information through Digital Person technologies. There are legal and ethical concerns around AI's application in medicine. Since AI uses large amounts of data, some of the concerns are minority populations could be underrepresented leading to health inequalities? Are there proper regulatory bodies both nationally and internationally controlling this data? Is data safe from hackers? And is data not being used for commercial purposes? Although there are all these concerns, AI has limitless possibilities for epidemiology, health promotion, health management and policy, as well as environmental and occupational health. Researchers, scientists and public health workers must be enabled with information they need so that they can improve the quality of our lives as well as prevent the pandemics of tomorrow.